Okay, so this is the radiation and resorption required practical. And the whole point in it is to investigate the amount of infrared radiation radiated from different surfaces. And the object that is used is something called a Leslie cube. Okay, so I think the hardest part about this practical, in a way, is the fact that sometimes you find Leslie cubes that have got different surfaces to it. Right, but the one that seems to be most common is, this is then your Leslie cube, right, and it's a cube with four sides, each with a different surface to it, and a hole down the middle for putting your boiling water. And so what you have is you've got a matte black, shiny silver, shiny black, and matte white. Now obviously matte means then kind of like dull. You've got an infrared detector, which is this here, which is just literally detecting the infrared radiation that comes out, and a heat proof mat to stop heat getting lost through the desk. Right, so the practical itself, right, what you do is you put the Leslie cube onto the heat proof mat that I talked about before. Fill the cube with very hot water, right, straight out of the kettle and put the lid on the cube. Use the detector to measure the amount of infrared radiation, and really what that's doing is it's actually recording the temperature. Okay, so it's recording the temperature decrease. Now, there's a number of ways in which you can do that. Now, the way I like doing it is point the infrared detector at one surface for 10 minutes, and then what you could do then is you could then detect how much it goes down over time and kind of do a recording every minute and put it onto a results table. Now, the key to it is then, once you've done it the first time, then you move it to another one and you need to keep it maybe 10 centimetres away. Right, the distance between the detector and the cube needs to stay the same. Every single required practical you ever do, you've also got to explain what you're going to do with your results. Record them on a table, plot a graph, draw a conclusion. Now, your variables. Don't mess dependent is measure so what are you measuring during the practical is the temperature change don't mess in class independent change so then you're going to change the surface you've got four surfaces the control distance of the infrared detector all right those kind of things that are then involved the heat proof mat the time between each reading right different things like that now, what you might do is, uh, and I just literally Googled and I found four or three different cooling curves. Um, I found black, dull grey, white, silver, right? These are all just Googled for um, GCSE uh, required practical, the one that we've just talked about. We've got black, dull grey, white, silver, which kind of goes with that one. We've got shiny white, matte white, shiny black, matte black, all right? Now, all you've got to do really is you've just got to remember, right, the order. So if you've got anything silvery, it is the cools the slowest, right? It emits the least amount of infrared radiation. Anything to do with white is then next. Anything to do with black is then after that. All right. And then when you've got the black, you've got your matte and you've got your shiny. And the matte black gives out more heat. So the order is anything silvery. Then you've got shiny white, matte white, dull grey, shiny black, matte black. Matte black being the one that cools them the fastest. Right, so what we've got in that practical there is, you've got to remember the fact of the Leslie cube. You need to look at what surfaces are then involved. And just remember the order, right? So silvery, which is obviously shiny anyway. And then you've got shiny white. You've then got matte white. And then you've got shiny black and then you've got matte black all right that's the kind of relative order that anything is then going to be happening make sure you plot your graph accurately right and then this is then your conclusion to the required practical itself